Hello everyone, my name is Kayla from the Museum of Antiquities and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the ancient Sumerian game of Ur. The game of Ur is also known as the royal game of Ur as it was popular amongst royalty in Mesopotamia and Egypt with the potential of Ur boards being found in the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. To get started, we are going to get our game boards ready. In your materials box, you will have a Royal Game of Ur template page. Yours is going to look a little bit different than mine, but that's okay. Take that page and color it in using pencil crayons, crayons, anything that you would like, and make it any color that you would like as well. Many versions of the Game of Ur use reds and blues to decorate but you can feel free to use any color you would like. Did you know that the Royal Game of Ur gained a superstitious significance? The different squares on the board were given different meanings and the superstition went that whatever square you landed on would tell you something about your future. Sometimes people even thought that these squares represented messages from the spirits and the gods. Once your board is complete, grab the dice and the game tokens in your materials box. You will need one die, and 14 game pieces, seven blue stones and seven green stones. Now let's learn how to play. The Royal Game of Ur is played with two players. Each player gets seven game pieces. The goal of the game is to get all your seven pieces from one side of the board to the other and off using this pathway. To determine who goes first, each player rolls a die, and whoever rolls higher starts. To move your game piece, roll the die. If your roll lands on a 1, 2, 3, or 4, you can move your first piece that many squares. So I am rolled a 3, so I'll move 1, 2, 3. If your roll lands on 5, you skip your turn, but if your roll lands on 6, you can roll a second time to see if you get a 1, 2, 3, or 4. Once that first player has rolled their dice and moved their spaces, it's player 2's turn. Player 2 rolls the dice and if they land on a 1, 2, 3, or 4, they move their game piece that number of tiles. If a player rolls a number that allows them to land on the same tiles as the other player's game piece, they get to kick their opponent off the board and their game piece has to restart. If a player lands on one of the flower tiles, called Rosetta tiles, the player piece is safe and cannot be kicked off the board. In addition, a player who lands on the Rosetta tile can roll their dice a second time that turn and either move the same game piece or a second game piece the corresponding number of tiles. The game continues back and forth like this until one player gets to the end of the board. When a player lands on the final Rosetta tile on their pathway, they must roll a 1 to be able to get their game piece off the board. The game ends once one player is able to get all seven of their pieces across the board and off the other side. And that's how you play the game of Ur. This is the simplest form of the game, so if you want to check out other routes that this game can take, check out our extras page right here on WordPress. And if you want to learn more about the game, you can watch the video of British Museum curator Irving Finkel and YouTuber Tom Scott play the game. Thanks for watching! The museum would love to see what you guys have come up with and to share your creations with our friends. Share pictures of your creations with us by messaging us on our Facebook page, by email, or tagging us on Twitter. Also be sure to check our social media pages and our website to see your creation alongside our friends.